pain. The man in spectacles there at the back. Extremely fine words from the Education Secretary, but the cold hard reality is that the Conservatives have cut the funding not just to schools but also to our libraries and have actually, instead of increased social mobility, they're doing their level best, from my point of view, to actually reduce social mobility across the country. Now, what are you going to do regarding getting back money back into our schools, more money to our schools, more money to our libraries? Libraries are closing all over the country. And what answer can you give to us to that when you're cutting funding to councils and councils are having less freedom to raise their council tax. Well, look, we've already talked about the fact that we have been through a huge recession in this country. Our economy shrank by uh, the most it has in 100 years. And therefore, we have had to make uh, difficult decisions at national government level, uh, and therefore, that has uh, impacted on local government uh, spending. But actually, we are seeing the gap between disadvantaged pupils and advantaged pupils that is getting less and we have put in the pupil premium that seven billion pounds we have put into schools and schools are spending wisely you know i go to uh, visit schools meet teachers up and down the country every week and i talk to them about how they're spending that pupil premium money and it is making a huge difference now how local government how local authorities choose to uh, to to set their budgets uh, and the services they feel that they need to, uh, to make changes to uh, is very much a, a matter for, for them. And I know that in some parts of the country uh, there are different ways of doing that and there are libraries that are going to be run uh, by, by others, including uh, volunteers. But <coughs> at the end of the day, just standing back, we have to, as a country, live within our means. Right. We cannot carry on as we were doing under the last government eventually, uh, which was continually spending more than we're getting in. That is not fair for the next generation who are going to be saddled with that debt if we do not deal with it now. But of all the areas to